All right, guys, video cut out. Um, phone is almost dead. Hopefully, it will stay alive for the remainder of this session, which will probably be about 20 minutes. So, left off talking about this card and investing. Um, paid a decent amount for this card. I don't remember exactly how much. A few hundred bucks, but plan on sending this in with... Um, one of my next free vouchers when you buy a PSA membership. So, um, haven't really looked at it yet as far as corners and, I mean, haven't taken it out of the mag, so I haven't looked at it any closer than you guys are seeing it now. So, hopefully it reads well. Um, this is a card I already have, raw. It's a 2008 playoff national treasures Matt Ryan um PSA 10 little bit of patch barely any two color um, black and red these are numbered out of 99 so um like I said second copy of this card um he's a guy who could get very very high on all time passing yards um Need some Super Bowls. That's what really uh, drives up um, card prices is championships and MVPs. So maybe I'll do a video on what I look for when I invest into cards. Um, if you guys are interested, let me know. But there is that. Just plan on sitting on it for a while. Um, these, I only intended to buy one, and ended up with three, so that happens sometimes, and it was before he went off and had that big game in particular, um, I think I bought these fairly early in the season, but playoff contenders, rookie ticket, um, on card, rookie auto, BGS 9, 10 auto. Um, this was a short print from that year as well. Along with the Mahomes and some others. So, like I said, wound up with three. And only wanted one. But we got two tens as well. So, don't know if I'll sell them right away. But I don't need three. But maybe I'll keep three, I don't know, we'll just do whatever. And then, like I said, I feel like basketball is where a lot of the money is as far as investing. So, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll look at cards of players of really high caliber and I'll compare them to similar players and what their cards are going for. So, this is a huge card, extremely expensive, 2007 Tobbs Chrome Kevin Durant Refractor in a 10. Um, I paid over $1,800 for this card, but Kevin Durant um, now has three, or I'm sorry, two NBA Finals Championships. Um... Might have an MVP, I'm not positive, but when it's all said and done, he'll be pretty high on the all-time scoring list. And what I did was I compared this to LeBron's Topps Chrome Refractor, which right now sells in the sixty-five to $7,000 range. So, um, I do believe LeBron's will also go higher. Um compare him to a guy like Kobe whose Topps Chrome Refractor in a 10 goes for about $15,000 so I see this going much higher than it is now I see LeBron's going quite a bit higher this is numbered by the way out of $14.99 but just a card I plan on sitting on for a while and seeing where his career goes um Honestly, I don't see that card going down in value, so that's the way I look at it, is 
you know, even if it doesn't go up in value, it's still retaining the value that I paid for it, more or less, if that makes sense. So, yes, I'm out the money, but I have the card. It's, it's like business and accounting. So, in the business equation, you have assets equals liabilities plus equity and cash and, in this case, cards are both assets. So, while, yes, I'm out the cash... I have the card, so assets still balance out. Um, but whatever, you guys aren't taking a, uh, a managerial accounting course. This is the uh, blue refractor to 199 of Trubisky. Not in a penny sleeve, but whatever. <laughs> Phone just told me it's at 10%. So, um, white hot Mattingly, yeah. card I feel like has some potential. This is an 04 Topps Chrome Refractor Yadier Molina. Um, he'll be a Hall of Famer. Um, kind of expensive. I think this is about 90 bucks, but we're going to grade it, see what happens, see where it goes. Yeah. Same story with most of the stuff that I'm showing you. Couple tops traded Miguel Cabrera rookies. That one's got a bent corner. Um, hopefully he can start bouncing back. Nonetheless, I feel like he's a shoo in for 500 home runs in the Hall of Fame, but he's just not playing at the same caliber he was a few years ago. So, um, some of that I think has been due to injuries. So he's trying to get himself healthier now and we'll see what that does for him not even gonna try to rip into this there's so much tape around this but 2010 first Bowman Anthony Rizzo rookie auto um probably my main PC This is a uh, 2016 Goff, um, number to 149. This is also the Blue Wave, having a huge season. So, you know, see what happens. This was a really cool lot. Um, it's card in a 10, so it's for quite a bit. Definitely one of the uh, the staples in the hobby. It's the uh, 1990 score, Bo Jackson. Just picked up a bunch of them, looking for a couple clean copies to slab. Another White Hot Bonds. Ninety-five finest Griffey with the peel on it. Drew Waters, Bowman Chrome, Gold Refractor to fifty. Another guy I'm really high on, um, picking up some of his parallels, some autos, things like that. Um, his stuff sells pretty decently right now, but, you know, it's 
nice when you can get in on those guys early before you know their stuff really goes insane. Um, this is a movie, so I'm not going to show that. I'm a big movie buff as well, guys. Love movies. So. Yeah, but this isn't a uh, movie-related channel, so we're not going to talk about movies. Here's some more of the uh, score bows. Two packages like this. This is a cool card. Um, pretty big when it first came out. The Mantle Bush from 2007. Jeter. Um, once again, black borders, but it sells pretty good in 10. So we'll see what happens with those. And final package. Ending with... GMA 10 Trubisky Blue Waves once again to 149 um, probably just gonna cut them out and send them to PSA and that's all I got for you guys see you next time